We're here for Stand Up To Cancer and as Hannah and I do a lot of sex education online, we mm -hmm. thought we would have a little bit of a conversation about our bodies and talk about why I guess so many of us are kind of afraid and nervous to talk about them. And knowing what is going on with your body and what's your normal and noticing any changes, all that good stuff. I feel like we don't actually have as much of an awareness about our bodies as you would think, yeah. as you would hope. Because I have gone to the doctors a lot because of my bowel, like I now have a stoma bag. Yeah. But before when I would be having like symptoms of ulcerative colitis and stuff, the doctors would be like, oh, well, how many times do you normally go to the toilet? How many times do you pass stool? And like, what's the normal consistency? I'm like, oh. The amount of times doctors have asked me about it, and I'm like, I, What I, number I, is your poo? I, I don't pay attention. I don't peer into the toilet bowl afterwards. Maybe I should. You do it for we though, right? To see the colour of your piss. Well, but because actually you're standing, I'm a, I'm a, so you Because, can... yeah, I have a penis. When I'm peeing, it's kind of hard not to look at it. Yeah. Like, if I don't look, I'm going to start, like, spraying it up the wall. <laughs> but you acknowledge the colour of it, and you're like, yeah. oh, damn it, need to drink some more water. And I always need to drink more water. I'm, like, always going for that clear, clear pee. Aha, like, uh -huh, for me. Thank you. <laughs> drink more water, Callum. For drink me. more water. I don't know at what point in my life I managed to, like, get over that hurdle, but just being able to like be fine with the doctor like seeing your bits i don't mind fine. i'm just like yeah have a look like have a rummage i feel bad for them i feel like i should apologize like <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry i'm so sorry my genitals are here in your face so on these cards we've got a bunch of people in our life friends family professionals who we might talk about bodily changes to sibling sibling I only see my brother like once a year, so oh, okay. we don't really get onto that kind of topic. It's more like, how's your day been? Like, how's work? How's your year been? Rather than, how, how's your pee? <laughs> Have your balls changed at all? You know, we don't <laughs> usually go down that route. No, fair enough. Flatmates. Oh, uh, everything. Yeah, everything. You kind I of feel like you need to. Yeah, and also you kind of have to apologise if you've left any mess in the toilet. Or, or, or a smell. Your taxi driver. Oh, I, um, I, I feel like there needs to be a reason to be discussing, like, hey, taxi man, let's talk about my boo. Your partner's parents. Ooh. Okay, so I would say no, but the way that my partner's dad is, is that he is like quite oversharey and like a very lovely person and was also very much there throughout my whole like health mm. crisis this year. So he knows a lot. And so I feel like all of those barriers have been broken down. Oh, your YouTube audience. Oh, well. <laughs> they, they get everything. Yeah, Hannah and I both tell our audiences um, too much. I sometimes tell them things that I wouldn't usually tell a stranger for the purpose of trying to get people to be less ashamed right. and to break yeah, yeah, down yeah, yeah. that stigma. Breaking down those taboos yeah, and stuff like totally. that. Yeah, no, totally. Absolutely. With all of these, like it doesn't really matter who you do and don't talk to as long as you find that one person in your life that you can kind of share things with. The more we do talk about these things, the kind of easier it becomes. It's a perfectly normal thing to kind of, you know, be hesitant of, oh, I've got to go and see the doctor, they're going to be looking at my bits. So I think, like, the main takeaway is, like, be aware of your body's normal and what that is. So if you do notice anything different and it doesn't go away, chances are it's nothing and you're fine, but always just worth getting it checked out. Yes, exactly what Hannah said. <laughs> the end.